Hi everyone, I'm currently in the kitchen and honestly, I just woke up. I want to make something but I don't know what I'm making. My battery is depleted so I need to charge my camera. But I literally have so much going on. I came home from work today and instantly I started putting away some clothes that I had washed and then I um, cleaned my bathroom. After I, came, after I cleaned the bathroom, I don't know if it was the products but I felt like I was completely wiped out and like so tired so I had to just go to sleep so I did exactly that now I have some dishes to wash in this sink and I want to make something but I feel like I'm kind of tired of eating rice so I want to make some dumplings and I have yam and I have sweet potato so I think I'm gonna make that right now I'm gonna make the dumplings first because they're the like messiest process and then we're gonna pivot into other things but I somehow feel like I should clean up the sink first so we're gonna try and do that but um that's where we are I have uh, tonight and tomorrow night left and then I'm gonna be off over the weekend, so far I think I have an appointment to go see my attorney at 2 p.m. 2.30 she said. Which honestly, I was sleeping at 2.30 p.m. today. And it's not like I didn't try staying up, I absolutely did. But like I said, after doing everything that I had to do this morning, I was literally so tired. I was laying down in the bed, my back kind of hurt to my lower back. And I'm like, all right, let me just lay down in the bed for a little bit and like see if I feel better. The next thing I know, I was sleeping until 5.30, almost 6 p.m. Right now it's 6.53, so I want to make something to eat and basically just tackle the rest of the evening from there on out. I need to fix my hair because I do have work tonight. But for right now, we're not looking too cray cray, so I should be fine. I just need to cook this food. The one thing about like dumplings and like basically just provision. Honestly, back in Jamaica, I would make more provision than I do here. I'm not sure what it is. I guess rice is just easier a lot of the times, especially when you work as much as I do. I feel like I'm literally always at work. And so when I am actually home, it's just like everything needs to be stress free. So her and I are trying to schedule a good time. Considering the fact that I told her that I do want morning appointments because they were better for me. And she suggested Saturday because I was asking her what's the earliest they have tomorrow, which is Friday. And she's like, oh, Saturday will work too. And I'm like, perfect, because I am off Saturday. But I still want her to give me a morning appointment. Anyways, whatever I get at this point, I'm going to take because I am indeed off. So, like, that should be fine. And the one thing I love about working nights and then getting, um, like, the weekend off is that I'm going to go home from work on Saturday morning. And I'm going to be home saturday morning and night sunday morning and night and i'm also going to be home monday morning until almost 11 p.m at night so that really does work out for me and i absolutely love that so yeah i have the water boiling already because the water takes a minute to get to the boiling point because you add salt in there so um that's going i want to wash the dishes that are in the sink really quick i have a few things in there honestly so i want to wash those and then after washing those, I'm going to jump into making my flour. I could start kneading the flour right now, to be completely honest. I'm going to do that. Look.
Guys, one thing for sure and two things for certain, when I'm cooking, I'm going to clean up the kitchen as I go along. All of those things I use along the process, I'm going to, I'm going to wash them because at the end, I want to have a clean sink. Right now, I'm making the provision in the one pot and I have the bowl on the counter with like some pumpkin in there and that's literally the only thing that's not clean along with the uh, cooking fork that I have right there. But outside of that, everything else that I've touched or used inside of the kitchen is clean and I really like that and I think that is a part of like my past productive self thanking me because I'm doing it right now so that afterwards I can sit down and enjoy the meal and move on to something else while not having to think about, oh, I have to clean up the kitchen. And I think it's so backward that people cook, make a mess, the sink is full, and then sit and eat. And afterwards, you still have that to go back to do. It just doesn't really make sense in my head. But that might specifically be because this is how I've done things all along. So in my head, that makes more sense. And it might just be because I'm a little bit OCD. Whatever it is. I really like that about myself when it comes to kitchen etiquette because I can not... I just realized I should probably put some plantain inside there. I could do that. Cause I like variety with provision. I could do that. Maybe I'll do a whole one. So there are enough pieces to go around. Great for boiling. Good. But um, yeah, that's what's going on right now. Um. I still need to fix my hair like I had said earlier. I've been cooking for about 20 minutes because I started the timer on my phone before I started cooking because I put my other camera to charge and I wanted to make sure that like I gave it at least a good amount of time or I knew how much time I had on the charger for and see what the results are because I have some footage that I need to transfer off of there. So we're gonna sit here and do that while the provision boils. I have some meat in the fridge so that should be fine but we're ready to go. The microwave literally ruins everything. Look at the splatters from the microwave. And honestly, I don't care enough to wipe it off to make it look presentable. I'm about to smash this right now. Looking a little crackheady right now. But ready for work. But I had to. I got a package from Victoria's Secret. Had to buy some new brows because the ones that I have are not working out this one has no barely any padding and I kind of like it okay whatever so I think I'll go on and get some more of that one and then I have these ones that are um, wherever we're push-up I really didn't want push-up but this one doesn't have like the extra push-up padding so there's that and these are on sale. I think some of these I paid either 17 or 14 for. Like this one, this one, and this one. And then these ones were 25 each. These ones I already own and I really do like. But I made sure not to get the ones that are like extra push up because it's a bit much. When I come home in the morning. I'm gonna put those away and I think I want to clean my bathroom tomorrow. I've been going around decluttering, nesting, cleaning out, just making the space feel very fresh and clean. So there's that. I got this from Victoria's Secret too and there's a fragrance in here that I want. I think maybe this one. So 
So we'll see. That's some percentage off. Today's trash day, but honestly, I can't really drag that bag down the stairs with me. So, it's gonna have to stay. I'm ready to go.